when you start having sex with someone, you feel like somebody gave you the keys to a private pool in the Hamptons. And you're like, I didn't even know I deserved such an amazing pool. I am so grateful. I'm gonna swim at 2 p.m., at 4 p.m., at 6 p.m., at 8 p.m. Thank God for this pool. You just come out and you're like, oh, that pool. You just wanna look at the pool because you can believe you have the pool. That's three months into early. 10 years in, it's kind of like now you own the pool and you have to maintain it. You try to get in one day, the acidity levels are wrong. You, you come back, you try again, it's not the right mood for swimming. You're like, I didn't, I didn't want to fucking swim anyway. And the next day you're like, I actually really want to swim. But you come back and there is a sign that says close indefinitely and you're like, whatever then. And you walk away and you forget about it. One day, hey, pool is open. You're like, oh, pool is open. You come back, but it's all covered in leaves. And you're like, well, I got to wait for that to be taken care of. And you just kind of like walk away, forget about it. And then one day he's like, hey, pool is open. And you're like, oh, I just had lunch. I'm full. I don't think I can do it. Do you love your pool? And you're like, I'm so sorry, pool. And you get into a pool and you're like, why did I even buy this fucking pool? I was happy in my apartment. <laughs>